Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Kirby's Epic Yarn. So now that we've finished with Greenland in the weird woods and all the rest of the levels that we've already completed, let's go into Hotland because I've been I've graduated finally. And let's go into Pyramid Sands since we can't really go much where else at the moment, so let's go. I really like the way that they do the worlds as well. It's not just like one theme throughout the whole world, kind of. It's kind of, it's got a good mix of other theme in it. But anyway, we have a bit of a desert world. We have these, this quicksand type platform again. And we also have this mummy here that we can also unravel and then throw back at it, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, can I please grab those beads? Thank you. We've also got these tornadoes here, so we should probably be careful of those. Well, I mean, they're helpful for getting around, so... Ah, uh, but anyway, let me grab you, because I think you're a money bags, which means that whenever we take them out, it drops a whole bunch of beads. Cool. Ah, uh, let's also grab that. They, they seem to like putting beads everywhere at the moment. Ah, uh, but anyway, we can pull this away so we can go down here and get a uh, collectible. Camel sofa. Sitting on this sofa will make you feel like the desert king, king of comfort. Just like that. We could also have just gone down here with the quicksand, but I i mean, it's cool to go this way, so. But now, let's go over here, I think. Hang on. Give me, give me a thing. Or I'll just take it from you. That works too. Uh, there's another one of you. Just a regular mummy. Uh, but I believe we're close to an actual thing. And I think I also need to go up here and grab this first. Nope, never mind. That's just the two star. I might just be thinking about something else. Or maybe the thing I'm thinking about is down here. Also, here we have two of these spear waddledies, which makes it very difficult, or very easy, to stand on the... Um, stand on the spikes and get hit by them. But we can take, them, take out the spears if we get the right position. But anyway, we also have this tag that we need to follow, so that we can un... Wrap something, I guess. I don't, know. I don't know what the word is for that. I don't know what I'm thinking of. But it's going over this way. And it's connecting to this pyramid. So let's take that off. And get the cactus juice. Cactus juice is an acquired taste. It has a kick to it. There's also, the, also this enemy here that we can't take out unless we have a sharp object, I think. I think that's what that's supposed to be like. Ah, uh, luckily there's this guy right here who's spawning these arrows in. So let's get rid of you. Uh, I also probably want to grab those before they disappear. Now, can I... Can I bump into you? Yes, I can, so I can turn you around. Oh, you, you're gone. I don't know how that works. I feel like you should be getting affected by that, but oh well. I guess we'll just take this with me since we can't really do much else. I can also go up here and grab that. What's I think? I think this is another money, money bag, so we can destroy those blocks, but I, th I feel like we don't need to, so... Let's grab that. No, you're just a regular. Just a regular Joe. I don't know. Anyway, let's grab all these beads. They get pulled into the tornado, which is good, so they don't get pulled away. Ah, uh, but now, I have another problem because of this thing here. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no. Give it all to me. Thank you. No, no. Ah, oh, disappeared. And there goes my streak as well, so... I guess the streak doesn't matter that much, though. Get that. Cool. Three stars. I don't know how I managed to get that from here. Also, I need to be careful. Grab that. Beads. Beads. Give me the beads. Okay. Good, 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 good. Oh, careful. Okay, no, I missed. I'm bad at this. I'm bad at this. I'm really bad at this. Oh, no. I need those. I need those. I I just... Okay, get you. Cool. Good. Give me the beads before they disappear. Thank you. Also, apparently I can just stand up here, but we can also destroy that, so... I think this is the end, though. But first, we get to transform into a car. Hold down the one to go as fast as we can. And if you have a second player, they can give you a little boost, which can be can be good. Uh, but you also need to be careful. There's also boosts on the ground that we can pick up that will just activate immediately, so. 
But now, if we can land on top of an enemy instead of... So if we land on top of an enemy, we get a little bit of extra beads. Uh, but if we hit the back of them, we also get hit. So we need to be careful. We also need to dodge everything else that we can possibly hit. Whenever we have a boost, we can actually go through things that would hurt us as well, so... But we need to try and win the race, so... Just win, just win, just win the race. Grab all these beads. Very nice. There's the music. And let's just go to victory. Just like that. I didn't jump on any of them, but I still managed to do it, so... Depending on how what rank you get, you also get a different position on here, which means that you get a different amount of beads. We've got first place, we've got a good amount. But also it puts these enemies into position, which means we can also un uh, ravel them up and then take them out with each other, but I, I messed that up, of course. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of the level, so let's see if I can actually get this this time, maybe. That seems to be asking a lot, though. Yeah, asking far too much. I think I'm trying to go too early because I'm used to it being... Like, I don't know. I need. I feel like I need to go slightly early, but I think it's too early that I'm going now. I should aim for the middle. But there we go. That was a pretty good streak considering I got hit at one point. Could have done better though. But there we go. We also have the magic lamp patch. Pretty cool. So let's use that. Lava landing. This can only go well. Saving. So let's go in. Okay. We have lava here, which is basically another pit. We also have these projectiles just being given to us, apparently. The lava, you know, we need to be careful. I've already said that. I don't know how I forgot about that already. Also, the missiles can actually break these blocks for us, which would be good if I can if we can use them. Just like that. It actually breaks several blocks, so it's really good. Give me that. Although I feel like that's gonna explode if I'm not fast enough. Quite possibly. Take that. Be very careful. We also have these bombs here that if they fall off the edge will explode, but we can also ro roll them up and then throw them as an actual bomb. Or like a more general bomb to use them to get around. If they also blow up next to each other, they also chain together, so we put the bomb there. Very nice. And now I also probably want to grab you and throw you up there. If you stand on top of them, they also start to explode as well, so. Also, this music for a lava level is not what you would expect, but it's so, it, it just works. Uh, anyway, let me grab you. I'll just put you there. So you blow up those. Dropping the beads into the lava, which goes up into the geyser thing here. From this volcano, which we can tie up for a little bit. So we can get those, but it, but the volcano will get back up to normal if we stop, so. Or just in general. We'll just do it. Oh, I need those. I need to keep up with them so that I can get to the volcano. They will disappear if I'm not fast enough, so. Try to get that. Good. There's a few that I missed, but that's okay. Don't think I want to go back. Also, these enemies will disappear into the lava if we stand on them, so we need to be slowish. Is that going this way or that way? This way, good. Don't want to miss that. I think it's actually going right here. Like, right here. So let's tie that up and grab that, please, before that thing gets going. Stone lamp. Molten rocks emit a warm glow. But don't hang your coat here. Good advice. Well, so I'm going to go up this way because there's a split path here, but I don't know which way is the best way to go. Need a few of these bombs so we can get in there to the reward. Don't have to blow them all up, but I mean... <laughs> oh, you just can't explode yourself, so you need to be careful. Cartoon meat. This meat is straight out of a caveman cartoon. Mmm, grog need fire. Anyway, we can also tap down here to go through this passage, which I love this. 
idea for going through these passages. We can also change direction if we tap the opposite way. But we probably want to grab all these beads. This is also the other way from the split path right there, so... It's pretty cool. We'll see more of it as we go through. But now, let's transform... ...into... ...a fire truck. Press hold down 1 to spray water and tilt the con uh, tilt the Wii Remote to aim it. Probably a control stick if you're playing on a different thing. Which I hope this goes on to more than just the 3DS because it'd be cool to play it on Switch. I feel like it'd be good to play it in multiplayer on the Switch. Whenever you wash beads off of the... above us, they also drop down, so we need to be careful of that when there's a pit or something. Uh, but I believe we can actually put out this fire and it gives us more beads as well. Yeah. If you're playing multiplayer, you get two fire trucks, so that can be good. Let's wash you up, enemy, so we can take it out like that. Very nice. There's so much in this game. It's so well done. I don't know what it is. Oh, but here's the end of the fire truck section, but that's okay. We will see it again. Let's move on. Oh, I feel like this is bad for us, because there's lava rising. Although I think it also goes up at the same speed that you go up, so you need to probably... Probably take your time as being good, but you should probably still be fast if you can. Grab that. I can grab those beads over there, that'd be being greedy, but also I want them, so... Oh boy. Being greedy. It's fine, I have time. We also need to be able to destroy some blocks at some of these sections, because I need to be... A little bit careful if I can. Put that down, please. Put that down, please. Grab those. Get that. Oh, I can see it, I think. It's catching up with me. So I can also throw that up there. Get these beads. Give it to me. Oh, boy. Oh, it's right there. There's also those things jumping out of the lava that we can get as... Oh, I have to leave this behind. I don't know why I took that in the first place. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay, just unravel, just unravel, just unravel. We can also probably take the spear that that Waldy has to get through that a lot faster. But also, I probably want to grab the three, five, five star. Okay, this probably should, probably should hurry up. Lava's rising, so I don't need more beads as well. But anyway, once we get to this place, we do need to hurry up because the lava will start hurrying up, so. But there we go, let's just tie, and tie that up. And there we go, that's the end of the level. You don't have to worry about it too much, so... This game is very forgiving. It's also a lot of fun, though. One day I'll get good at getting the five stars. I used to be good at getting the five stars. But, I mean, I've, I've been playing... I've, I've played this game like a decade ago and haven't played it to completion since. It's so weird to think about that, though. Actually, no, it's probably not been quite a decade yet. I don't know. Probably been like nine years. But there we go, that's another level complete. And we got the boxing bell patch. Cool cave. Time to go where I belong. In Hotland. <laughs> the cool cave in Hotland. That makes sense. It, it all makes sense to me, so... I mean, why wouldn't it make sense? Let's go. It all adds up after time. Also, this is just... Probably one of my favorite levels in terms of design and music. We get to go through here. We also have these platforms that go up and down because of the... The, like, rolls. I don't know what, the, I don't know what they're called. We also have these bats that are projectiles that home in on enemies. They also drop three every time we roll them up, so that's pretty cool. cool because they split into three. Uh, this platform goes away if we stand on it too long, so we need to be careful. Uh, but we can actually roll up this... This... Like, cotton reel there. Thank you for getting up there. Let's go through this way. Get a star. Very nice. Okay. 
Just need to not stand on this platform too long before it falls down. And we need to not also not get crushed, because if we get crushed, it will hurt and we'll lose beads, so. But anyway, let's go down. Oh, I see that. I, I want that. Uh, also, take that. Thank you. This area is quite interesting because there's a lot of these tunnels that we have to go through. Oh, and this light on the- I, li I like how it makes the light shine and it makes a rainbow. That's so- so cool. Anyway, let's go down here. All the way, probably. So we can get all the things along the way. There's a bead. Also, if we ground pound on those platforms that slowly break if we stand on them too long, they will instantly break. Any- any other ones below them as well, since we're going at full speed past them. Anyway, crystal. This coffee table crystal would be perfect for uh, a psychic's waiting room. Cool. Unlocking all of the things right now. Like that, we can just break through them. Uh, but anyway, we need to go back up so we can get to the next area. I probably should have done it where I did the that one first and then the other one. Ah, uh, but it's fine. I know what I'm doing. Let's go through this tunnel and get some beads. Thank you. This, this, it, this game is... beautiful. <laughs> oh, that guy. There's, there's some tunnels along the way in those areas. And these guys will come out after you pass them. If they grab you, they pull you all the way back. So we need to be careful not to get caught by those. If we can avoid it. No, go back, go back. Please, that way. Thank you. I have to actually pick, change directions because it, it... I think it automatically goes forward. Whenever we get to... A section like that. Down. Up. Down. This way. I probably should have gone the other way f first. You can see that little hole in the wall there. That's where he comes out of. Ow! Oh, he hurts! I thought he just... I thought he just took us back, but I guess he hurts, so... Uh, anyway, let's go this way then, instead. Down. This way. I feel like there's something up this way that I missed. Yeah, there's that. Is that, that might be all that was there, though. I think that's probably everything. I'm just gonna leave. And let's continue. Very nice. Two stars. I could be greedy, or I could just go over the top of that guy. If I had a, another thing, I could probably take him out. Uh, but I'd also need to be... Ready for it. Okay, this is an interesting uh, treasure to get. So if we go over here, we can see this giant spike appears. We need to roll this up so it can go over the top of the hill without breaking the spikes. And that will destroy the thing for us. Just like that. And there's the music. Cool. I think that's all the collectibles now? I think so. But anyway, I just need to wait for this guy to go past. Also, it's great because if you tap up on the D-pad, Kirby just looks up. But if you tap it over and over, it looks like he's just, like, nodding. <laughs> oh my goodness, I like to spend time just doing weird things in video games. Uh, anyway, let me take you out because I don't really want to bother with you. Let's take that. Go over here. Cool. The beads on the slope will go around the place, but we can also get crushed, so we need to be careful here. And the spikes can sometimes get pushed into us. So we need to be very careful. Okay, need to wait for the slope. Let's go up here, through here. Thank you. Get another star. Also, if you're going into car mode or ground pounding into one of those tunnels, I believe it goes in automatically somewhat. Okay. Oh, careful. Very careful, very careful, very careful, very careful. Got it. Cool. I don't think I need this guy for anything, but I'll take him with me. I can't take him with me anymore. Cool. Uh, we need to be careful of these crystals that are falling down through the ceiling. Ah, uh, but we can also use them as platforms, so that's helpful. As long as we don't get crushed by them. I don't know if I need that water. I'm going to leave that for a second. You'll probably respawn anyway. Let's go up this way, though. Oh, I need the... <laughs> of course I need the water. If you have multiplayer, you can break that because you can use your friend as a way to break blocks open. That's what they're there for, right?
Uh, otherwise, just do it normally. I wonder if you can switch to multiplayer mid-level. I don't think you can. Okay, we need to go back the other way now. So we need to wait for these platforms to spawn in. Slash fall down. But we also need to be careful not to get hit by them. Oh, very careful. So careful. So careful, you would not believe it. Okay. Need the middle platform so we can get across. They all fall at different speeds depending on where they're up to. Oh, nope, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Hang on, hold on. Go. Now, cool. Let's go down. And it looks like we have a transformation, which should look familiar to us. Because we get to be a mole again. And get to dig through things. It's more like a digger than a mole, but anyway, you know what I mean. Let's get all the things here. All the beads. Just like that. Anything in the corner? Nope. Probably, probably wasn't going to be. Can take out the enemies just like nothing. Okay. Uh, we also need to be careful of the enemies that are going along the walls here. Okay, go, 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 go. Anything else? I don't think so. Let's go get some more of these beads then. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to enter your domain. Doesn't look like there's anything up here though, so... They're not hiding too much, so... Go get this... That... That, I guess. Just basically need to loop it so it doesn't keep up with you. Okay, there seems to be something in the middle, right? Yeah, star. That's why they were in a circle like that. Within the grid. Okay, that's the end, but I think we don't want to take the end there, because there's another end over this way, which takes us to the reward that we need. So you need to be careful which way you go there. I think you could possibly make it through in multiplayer because of those blocks there. Uh, but I, I don't know, so... Frog mirror. Your head is not being eaten by a frog. It's just the mirror. Trust me. Just relax. It's fine. It's a Kirby game. Anyway, this is the end of the level, with a pretty cool ending area, so now I just need to time this just right. Please, thank you. Thank you. Please, thank you. <laughs> I did it. I finally did it. All three rewards. Very nice. We have the flame patch. So let's use that. Dino Jungle, which actually ties into the end of Cool Cave with its design. Which, I mean, that's pretty cool that it actually connects the levels like that in a kind of way. But anyway, let's go in. And this place is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty, this is pretty, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's cooler than Cool Cave, but it's pretty cool because we have these dinosaurs here, so... We have also got some of these secret walls that we need to go behind. I don't think I need that. Let's grab these beads though. And let's roll up this head up. It's really cool. We also need to wait for this thing though over here. Because we can grab onto that and swing around and so we can get pulled up. Very nice. Thank you. And now we have this bit here where the water is... It is possible to swim into it, but you probably want to be on top of this 
head so you can actually get around. Any of the beads that go into it will also go along with the current, I think, possibly. Unless they just go down into the void, which would be sad. We can also duck underneath that platform there to fit through. And use these bees to do all sorts of other things. Okay, it does kind of go with the current, but it also goes into the void. So if you drop beads, you're probably going to lose them more than likely. I'll take you. Go. I kind of wanted one of those. That's fine. It's all fine. No, come back. I can swim against the current. No, I probably should go back. I want that star. <laughs> the head will respawn after you... Uh, after you leave the starting area. Very nice. Let's grab that star. We can also swing up here to get around and get the three star. And now we have this blue head that we can be on, which goes a little bit all over the place, more so than the rest. Okay, I want that. Have a split path here, but we probably want to take the other path. I mean, the lower path has more beads on it, but also we have this uh, reward up here, which is worth 100, so. This flaming torch can uh, really brighten up any dungeon. Um, Lair or foyer? Why do I, why would I have a dungeon? I don't, it's, it's fine. Anyway, we just need to dodge all these bees now. Wow, how did I dodge that? I don't even know. Also, I have this, I have this projectile now, so. Also, I guess I don't really need it. So. Uh, but there's also this enemy here that will try to roll into us. But also we pick it out and throw it. It rolls. Which I think that's really cool because it can also go on this platform here and just roll around in circles. That's so cool. Oh, I need to go up there. Hey, you're an actual... What will do, right? Yeah, you're gonna actually attack me if I get too close. We're actually seeing some different enemies now. Oh, hello. I think that's probably the way to go. Probably? Or maybe not. It's just rewards. Some beads. Very nice. Also, the eyes of the thing go round. Anything down here? Nope. Cool. Uh, let me get rid of you. Let's go down here. Hello. I'm gonna take you before you try and take me out. I'm gonna take you out. Go up here for the two star. Hey, how you doing? Goodbye. Also, with the guys that roll, when you roll them up and throw them, they will go to the ground fairly fast. So you can't really throw them at a more opportune time. Like, if you have to actually jump to try and hit something that's in the air, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Can I get rid of you? If we try anything. And I probably want to get that treasure down there. Which means I'm going to need to go down this way. And take the secret exit path thing to get this. And there's the music. I think that's everything. Maybe unless I'm forget. I think there might be one more. I can't remember. But I can remember this place here. If we go up here and activate that. Spawns a whole bunch of beads inside, so let's go inside and grab them. All the platforms work both ways. But also, there's this hole in the side here, which allows us to actually... ...jump out through, and we're on the other side now. That's, that's just, that, I just, that, I just think that's cool, so... Uh, anyway, let's take you out. And we also have these dinosaurs here that act as platforms, but they also try to crush us, so... ...need to be careful. Okay, exc exclamation mark. Take me to your leader. Also your treasure. Mainly your treasure. Give me the unlockable. This egg gives us... The Dino Slide. All this gentle dino wants is for kids to have fun. Sliding down its neck. And all the ones around here are just trying to crush me. Ah, get up. Go up. No oh, bad timing. Probably. I probably could have done it. They seem to go at different times each time, so I need to probably just take the five star and go. Oh my goodness, their eyes make everything more terrifying. But anyway, I believe that's the end of the level. So let's get that. Thank you. 
Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. And there we go. Another level complete. Getting a good number of beads now. Since we paid so many. We also have the pepper patch. But I think that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.